Let's start solving maximum subarray sum. Okay. The problem statement says given an integer array ARR, you need to find and return the maximum sum possible from all the subarrays. All right. So suppose you have this example given here consisting of these elements 2, 3, negative 8, 7, negative 1, 2, and 3. Okay. This is an array which is given to you. Now, if you want to categorize a subarray, well, subarray is nothing but a contiguous chunk of your original array, okay? And uh, your complete array can also be considered as a subarray, all right? So if I say that this part, 2, 3, and negative 8, is it a subarray? Yes, that is, because it is a continuous chunk of your array. Considering this one, this is also a continuous chunk. Let's say considering this one, a continuous chunk. What cannot be considered? Let's say if I say, the whether negative uh, with three negative eight and negative one can you consider this a subarray well no that is something different that is subsequence and we are not talking about that okay we cannot skip any element in between so you should keep this in mind now what is the question saying the question is saying that you need to give a subarray which has possibly the maximum sum in the complete array so here you can see uh, let's suppose uh, let's try to make our own subarrays. Let's consider this one. Okay, what will be the summation of the elements of uh, this chunk of the array or this subarray? It will be 5, negative 8, that means negative 3, correct? And negative 3 is supposedly not the biggest value that we can achieve uh, while summing up and choosing our maximum subarray. So, yeah, let's skip this, the, skip this uh, subarray. Going on to any other example let's take this one up what will be it i'll get 5 minus 1 that would end up at 4 so 4 is still a decent answer at least it is not negative but is it the largest well it turns out that this uh, this answer says that okay it is not but once you include 7 in your answer this chunk or this subarray will become the maximum subarray which is required in the question so here you can see if we solve it it says 11 as the answer okay that is what is given as the output and we need to focus on the output we do not need to actually give the subarray we need to give the sum of it there are a few more case, uh, cases mentioned here uh, you should take this under consideration okay there could be possibility that your complete subarray uh, that a complete array that you have may only consist of only negative numbers then well any subarray you try to make is going to end up in a negative uh, like negative summation correct so in that case what do we need we must choose the biggest value possible which means here in this case negative 2 and we should return that in this case last case in which no negative number is present there well if there is no negative number and you are looking for finding maximum subarray sum then you can always take the complete array as the subarray uh, no, uh, no, like none of the numbers would be negative and complete array that you take would be adding up to the maximum subarray. In this case, yes, you can see 25 is the answer. Now let's try to discuss the approach one. Well, in this one, we are talking about brute force only. Consider you have this array. What you will do? You will try to make up all the possible subarrays, correct? And how do you do that? Well, let's suppose we have our eye loop and uh, you hold your eye here at this two, and then you run your j from this point till the end making all the combinations up okay like first one you're going to make two three then it will be two three negative eight two three negative eight seven okay these are all the sub arrays that you're making or you can like simultaneously count the sum of it and what you need to do is once you are uh, once you're counting the summations of all of the sub arrays and you need to keep the track of your maximum okay so all the summations you are encountering just keep the track of them uh, like track of that in a variable let's say result and eventually once you are done with making all the possible combinations and you are like done with going through all of the sub arrays that means your i has moved till the end and at every ith iteration you were moving from that point till the end uh, with your with the help of your jth loop okay so once the situation is like this well it is going to take a lot of time, correct? Because we are doing order of n operation, order of n times. This will end up at order of n square. 
and we are not taking any extra space so the space complexity still is order of one but we cannot consider this one this is not what the question demands we need to move ahead towards a better solution let's go to this algorithm okay the approach to will be done using Kadane's algorithm. What does this algorithm say? Well, in this algorithm, we only go uh, like from the beginning of the array till the end of the array on, uh, once, okay? So it will be performed in order of n. We will see the procedure now. Well, at that point, like at this uh, point, you every element that you consider, you need to consider that it is like that element is being included in your subarray and you are counting your maximum subarray. Okay, the maximum sum of your subarray, including this number. What do I mean by that? Let's try to run it. Here you can see initially you don't have any array yet, right? So you have to consider this one. You considered this one. All right. Now, what are we going to do next? Well, every time we are going to choose a next value, let's say or let's say we are choosing this three, we need to ask ourselves. So far, the biggest sum that I've got of subarray is two, right? Adding this element up would be increasing this value the maximum ending would be increasing the maximum ending or would it be uh, not contributing to it if it is not contributing to it then what will we do then simply we would begin our new array from here we need to just check that every at every ith point at every ith point that we are going to choose including that element including that as the max like ending element what can be maximum subarray formed there all right so now that we've got the point this is how we are going to do that okay we are maximizing our maximum ending variable okay here we have maximum ending plus arri our, our first choice is to include this element if this is resulting in a bigger value than our current maximum ending then we are going to consider that otherwise we will consider this element and we'll try to form a new uh, subarray solution from here so here in our case you can see three is included maximum ending so far is five right so far it is like uh, till here it was two now here it is five you must also keep in mind that we are keeping the track of the result we are maximizing it including one more value here what will we get well here our maximum ending will become negative three because if we are including this element then it is going to be negative three is negative three bigger than five of course not that is why my result is not getting updated it is being retained as the previous value that we have now once we try to include one more value the seven now you can tell me that whether like what is a wiser choice so far my answer is negative three maximum ending till this point was negative three so doing negative three plus seven is this bigger or seven individually is bigger okay of course, seven individually is bigger, right? So we are going to now consider seven as a maximum ending. Okay, till this point, I'm only taking this subarray, which adds up to seven. Thus, from this, like in the uh, in this particular uh, like point, my maximum ending will become seven. Now, once that is done, again, let's try to proceed with our solution. Now, seeing the, uh, seeing the case with negative one, I will include negative one. So maximum ending till this point would become negative six. But make sure we have gotten a new big answer result uh, 7 which is a store in the result here now including 2 here what do we have we have maximum ending as 8 now previously i stored 7 but i received one answer which is bigger than 7 i updated my result 8 here okay then similarly again i have to include this value 3 so far i have the answer as 8 so what is bigger 8 plus 3 or just 3 8 plus 3 of course right so this chunk will be considered and at this point my maximum ending would become 11 and the result because like previously it was 8 now uh, we have gotten a bigger result or bigger maximum ending i'm going to maximize my result and i will get my result as 11 eventually okay the iteration is now done we have uh, successfully traversed the array and our maximum ending is giving us the desired output that we have of maximum subarray sum all right let's quickly see the code for the same so here you can see what we are doing uh, we have our two variables here result and maximum ending uh, we have initialized it with the first value of our array and then we are iterating through this loop okay only for once that means order of n 
um, n times uh, in terms of time complexity. Okay, what are we doing? Every time I am seeing that whether maximum ending that I have calculated so far plus ARRI the current value whether this value is bigger or the ARRI individually is bigger. In this case, like in other, either of the case, whatsoever is the bigger value, I'm going to make that my new maximum ending. Either it could be including a value or it could be starting a new sub array. All right, once that is done, I also have to maintain the track of when I'm getting uh, like bigger values of maximum ending, I should store that as result, okay? So once I have successfully executed my traversal, eventually I will return my result here at this point. Uh, the time complexity for this solution is going to be order of n and we are not actually using any extra space right so the space complexity would turn out as order of one constant space okay let's try to run this code now okay here's the code let's try to compile and run it okay it is giving us the desired output now let's try to submit that and see if it is working with all the test cases there and yes it is passing all of the uh, test cases those are mentioned so I hope now you have gotten the approach of the question and if you still have any doubt, do try to dry run the solution once more and if you like the solution, then do tell me in the comments. Thanks.